Just what a flower. Just what a flower. Just what a flower. with our 
ourselves. Make sure to wear your favorite outfit on your first day of school. When we feel good about ourselves, it's hard not to have an amazing day. <gasps> How is he? You look absolutely amazing. Thank you. You look absolutely awesome, Poppy. Thank you. <laughs> when you see yourself dressed for success, you will start to feel more confident and prepared in your ability to soar through the school year with flying colors. The next thing we decided to do was prepare our backpacks. Having everything you need ready for the first day of school in your backpack will make you feel more confident that you are ready too. Blossom Elementary has sent us a special list of supplies that we would need for our first day of school. Let's take a look at our list. After looking over our list, Posey and I gathered all of our supplies. Notebooks, pencils, pencil cases, and folders. Once we made sure we had everything we would need for our first day of school, we put everything into our backpacks. With our backpacks packed, it was time to pack something else. <gasps> Lunch! <laughs> By preparing a delicious and healthy lunch, you will have something to look forward to during your first day of school. There are so many different things you can make for lunch. Today, Poppy and I felt like some Blossom PB&J sandwiches. You start by taking two slices of flour-shaped bread and spreading peanut butter on one of the sides. Put the two pieces together and voila! You have a Blossom PB&J sandwich. What else did you pack for your lunch today, Cozy? I packed some watermelon, carrots, and celery sticks. I also added carrots and celery sticks, but instead of watermelon, I packed grapes. to eat lunch with our friends at school today and to show them the blossom PB&J sandwiches we made together. Me neither. <gasps> hey, I'm starting to feel a little less nervous. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> Having a special tradition you can look forward to year after year can make you feel less nervous when things change or when we start something new, like a new school year. In our book, The Blossom Shop, Mama Blossom tucked flowers behind our ears before we went to school so we would have her with us for the entire day. For our first day of school tradition, we wanted to do something a little similar something we like to call Forever Flowers. First, go outside and find some flowers. Posey and I will be picking some flowers from our garden. With the flower that 
that you picked, exchange it with your mother, father, sister, brother, or someone else you love very much. So they have yours and you have theirs. Take out one of your school notebooks and open it up. In the center of a page, place your flower. Put some tape on the stem to hold your flower in place, then tightly close your notebook. As you carry your notebook in your backpack or in your arms throughout the day, you will always know your special flower and the special person that gave it to you is with you for your first day of school. And when you get back home and open your notebook back up again, you will see that your flower has begun to dry. Pressing your flower tightly into your notebook to make the flower dry will allow the flower to last a very long time. That's why it's called a forever flower. Make sure to be gentle with your flower though, because it will also be very fragile. With every new school year, watch as your forever flowers collection grows with the flowers given to you by those you love. And those were the things we did this morning to help us feel less nervous on our first day of school. Colorful school year that is waiting for you. And remember, you are.